yay, I actually get to play, you know, record someone decent. Like, this guy's had a nice conversation, I'm not gonna mulligan this. Um, yeah. No, I'm not gonna mulligan. Gonna play my forest first in case I draw another one for Geist. Otherwise, I'll um, play Gadstaff Shepherd. Does he have a two draw? Nope. Well, sorry, buddy, I do. Is it three drop? If so, do I brimstone ball yet? Probably not. Um, would I brimstone volley a token though? That is a question. No. Don't tread elk. Hmm. Do I attack? And I think the answer is yes. I have to be the aggressor in this one. Plus, intimidate's not going to be that much in another in a mirror green deck. Okay, now, do I play the wolf or the captive? I think I want to play the wolf. I would have actually snap traded Don Trader Elk for Gastaff Shepherd if I were in his position. So it means he probably wants another land. Um, which means if he attacks, I will inflict block with the Dark Thicket Wolf. Um, no, no, free two damage for you. Yep. Oh, Spidery Grass. Okay. Yeah, you can take a combat trick for my Dark Thicket Wolf. That is alright with me. Um, again, same, same reasoning. Yeah. Now he needs his elk, so he's not gonna do anything, and if he does, I have a bear. Okay, sweet. I've got a bear too. Doo -doo -doo. It is so big. Oh well, he top decked the forest. Start the beats. If he has the midnight haunting, he has the midnight haunting. He's got the rebuke. Okay. Better him use the rebuke now. Still have a captive harvest pyre and a brimstone volley. Harvest pyre only gets better the more dudes he puts away. Three, four, two, one, first strike. That guy. That guy's pretty good. So we just harvest pyre him now. Attack, he gains two life, gets a one one, I get a three two. Yeah, I think the play is to continue what I have been doing so far. If he doesn't play a spell, I get to do the ultimate wolf bitten captive move? A pump him pre Okay. Well, Slayer of the Wicked's good. We go this harvest fire his dude end of turn. And again, three just in case he has something.
You know it'd be nice to draw Falcon Wrath Marauders for once. Okay, he's gonna slam Vorapede. Or that guy. Yeah, no. You can have yourself a 2-2 two -two flyer. But not additional guys. Kinda sucks I'm done to, you know, top decking mode, but... Oh, well. I mean, if there's a card I'm gonna top deck, it's, that one's not bad. Um... Creature or player? Do I attack? No. I won't attack, because I trade my Pilgrim for his spirit, and I don't want to trade my Strangle Root Geist for it. Or he can flashback Travel Prep on that, which is okay too, because then I will trade the Strangle Root Geist for it. But he's not getting the full value off the Travel Preparations. Okay. Does he want to race? I think I win a race. I trade my Pilgrim for any X2 he plays. Oh no, Vorapede! Oh, okay. Rebuke up, doesn't have Midnight Haunting up, which is why I feel safe to do that play. <clears throat> Again, Vorapede's just very good. Okay. Now, to be safe, I'm only gonna attack with the Emerwolf, because this Cultist could very likely be the way I win this game. And I don't want to lose it to, um, Rebuke or Midnight Haunting. Hmm. Question is, is Immerwolf better than Skirzak Cultist? I will let him trade it off. He's got one card in hand. I mean, if he top sacks Vorapede, we're just in trouble, okay. Land something? Again, any dork now instantly becomes a shock. Now. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna win by sitting here. Fingers crossed for the rebuke. Doesn't happen, okay. Well, not this turn at least. Yeah, it looks like he's mana flooded. So stupid. Mana flood. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Um, that's good enough that makes me want to actually attack with the cultist. Again, so greedy. Does he have a Midnight Haunting or anything? <clears throat> Four feet off the top. Did he get there? Ooh. Nice! <laughs> I 
Wow, okay, so we got the Vorapede. Um, which means I'm gonna attack with the Stalker, because he pretty much has to block it, and then I can rack with Madness it. They top decked a creature, which is enough to stop my near Heath Stalker. I know, I'm still afraid he's got one card in hand. Is he just gonna scoop? Is he just gonna scoop? Am I gonna win another 8 4 on camera? Yeah, any turn you draw a land, he basically loses. If I draw Brimstone Volley, right now he's dead. If I draw Geist Flame, he's dead. Oh, he's playing his other spell, okay. It's travel prep. Now I'm less scared. Because this guy is playing it pretty loose. I'm going to just attack with the Stalker. He's going to trade it with his Orchard Spirit. Probably should have killed the Orchard Spirit with my Skears Die Cultist. That actually probably was the right play. Um, but the thing is, right now I've got so many outs, and he has a top deck something. I am willing to get into a top deck war with this thing. Does he have Rebuke? Let's find out. Yeah, Rebuke or Midnight Haunting, which is it? Is Midnight Haunting? Oh, it's Bell Ringer. Okay. Well, he doesn't take two. And he can travel prep it. And I need to draw a non land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. What would be good right now? That was actually a very good draw on his part. I mean, I can make his recluse stay back. Unfortunately, that thing does, in fact, stand in my way. I'm at 18. He has to have a ton. Let's see, what can I get? That'd be good. Flashback travel prep. It's actually not bad. The attack with Bell Ringer. Is he gonna be greedy? If he attacks with Recluse, he's in some serious trouble. So yeah, he's just attacking with that thing. Which, again, is livable. Not if I draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of my lands. To keep attacking me for two till I draw something. I just have to draw something else. There we go. It's 
starting to get the bombs. Which is what I want to see. You have to play a spell this turn. I knew it. He drew a land. Yeah. Eventually he drew a land and he's going to lose because he's not going to be able to cast anything. My right, Crew and Outlaw is going to flip. Oh. Yes! 8-4 victory! Whatcha? Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, hopefully this... Yeah, he said GG and was polite about everything. But hopefully this was a somewhat satisfying draft where I opened Wolfen Captive and for some aggressive archetype. Thank you guys again for watching, and now you'll see some more... Um, more content in the future.